Hello, hello you people in YouTube land, how do you do? Well, this is the season, the season for Christmas drinks. Yes, so your international chain of coffee shops. Yes, since it's Christmas, they have Christmas themed drinks. So, I'm going to try some of them. Let's see how it tastes. Most likely disappointing, but yeah, let's try and see how it goes. So, the first place we're going to, the first international brand of coffee we're going to is Starbucks. Yes, Starbucks. You can find them everywhere. Even in this area here, there are few already. There's one here. This one is at Vivo City. There's another one here, which is right next to the in Bucket Street Interim Food Center. There's also one here, right next to the Tanjong Paga MRT Station, on top of it. So, let's get in here and see what they have for Christmas. Yes, they have it again, the Toffee Nut Crunch Latte. It's, I think, they have it every year, I guess, this particular flavor. So I ordered it. First of all, I must say, I do like the decoration on the cup. It is very festive. Look at that. Look at the colors. And I can see that they try very their best to, you know, not have a certain design on it. So this is a latte with the foam and some, I guess, sugar bits on top of it. So this is the Toffee Nut Crunch Latte. So let's just taste it and see how it tastes like. Okay, okay. It tastes like a latte. A coffee with milk. And you also have a very prominent burnt sugar taste. And then you also have a bit of the crunch on top there, on top of the foam. But it's it just tastes like a latte. Yeah. Latte with a burnt sugar taste. Not doesn't taste bad. It tastes a bit sweet. But uh, I'm not really a fan of burnt sugar flavor. Yep. So overall it's just okay. Uh, not something that I will come here uh, next year to drink and definitely not drinking it again this year I'm not disappointed just that I'm not impressed not impressed at all very little impressed and I also noticed that they have a cold brew version so I decided to try the cold brew version of this toffee nut cold brew which is this one here. Yep. I wonder if it will taste better than the latte. The only way to know is to drink it. Yep, so let's open it up and drink it. Okay, the cold brew is a cold brew. Uh, what is very interesting here is that it tastes quite similar to the uh, pumpkin spice latte that I had last one month ago. Yeah, it was a month ago that I had it. Just that this one doesn't have any of the cinnamon aftertaste. But flavor-wise, very similar. Uh, yeah, not very impressed too. But, 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 I noticed another drink that is a bit interesting. So I decided to come here and give it a try, which is the Oat Milk Confetti Cookie Latte. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? I mean, look at the colors. It definitely looks like confetti that they pour onto a ice blended drink with cream on top. With cream. 
Yep. An ice blended drink with colourful, colourful, colourful things on top at Starbucks. Yep. So this is it. I mean, it's so pretty. How could you resist? It's so pretty. The pretty, pretty colours. Very attractive. Okay. So, yep. Let's break in and have a taste. Yep, with my chipmunk chicks, I'm tasting this drink. This is definitely an ice blended drink, an ice blended coffee. Definitely, the drinks eat at Starbucks, even though the seasonal items, they try to make it coffee based. And this is definitely a coffee ice blended. You can taste the coffee in here. Um, the confetti, which is more like candy, which is colorful, but uh, not much flavor except for sweetness. The cream is also sweet. Uh, overall, it is a sweet dessert drink with a coffee aftertaste. So for those people who don't like coffee, but don't hate it, you know, uh, but like ice blended drink, this is a good dessert drink to drink. Uh, not the best, but uh, if you like something sweet, you can try this. It's okay. Another popular coffee chain, coffee chain in Singapore is the coffee bean and tea leaf. They also have multiple locations all around the island. And we're coming in here to try some of their seasonal items. Yes. So, uh, there are many stores around Singapore. At this store, I'm going to try their Red Velvet Ice Blended. Yes. This one here, I think it's, it will be a more of a dessert. I think coffee bean and tea leaf, they do more of the dessert types of coffee blended. Uh, I used to drink a lot their Ultimate Ice Blended. So, let's see how this tastes. Okay. Uh, okay, the decoration also. Christmas themed decoration on the cup holder. And then you have the red velvet drink here. Doesn't look very red to me or velvety. Slightly pinkish but almost not noticeable. Oh, okay. This is definitely a dessert drink. Definitely tastes red velvety. Sweet, creamy, uh, cold, uh, refreshing for our tropical weather. Uh, sweet, definitely sweet. More of a dessert drink. You don't taste much coffee in here. I don't think they put any coffee in here. So it's just basically uh, yeah, a dessert drink. Uh, I mean, if you like red velvet, you like cold drinks, this is quite nice as a red velvet drink. But as a coffee drink, no coffee. Uh, as a dessert, it's okay, it's cold. But uh, I mean, pleasantly supplies. Supplies, it is nice. Just that not something that I will come back just to drink. Next up is the dark chocolate with maple syrup. Look at this. Ooh, definitely looks like a dessert drink. Look at the chocolate they drizzle on top of the cream and then on the inside there is the dark chocolate ice blended with maple syrup Ooh. just saying those words sounds so good doesn't it so let's dig in and try it okay one thing about the straws in a coffee bean and tea leaf is it is hard to get the straw out is it like, do I need like a PhD in, in straw removal? You know, it's so difficult, look at that. Even if I try to you know, move it up and down in that uh, familiar motion to guys, I still get had a problem opening it. Yeah, even after I tear off the top, I still took me a long while to pull it out. Yes, pull it out. Okay, so let's just mix it up a bit and have a drink. Okay, okay. This is another drink from coffee bean and tea leaf without any coffee or tea in it. It's basically just a chocolate drink, ice blended, 
with dark chocolate in it so it has a nice chocolate flavor which is actually quite nice <laughs> yeah and then yes and then later you get hit in the aftertaste of the maple syrup this one here surprisingly i didn't know that maple syrup and dark chocolate goes well together well i found it out here in this drink so yep out of all the drinks i've tasted so far this is my favorite and if you like uh, dessert drinks i think you should give this a try quite nice quite tasty quite yummy dark chocolate and maple syrup who would have thought so this brings us to the end of our food adventure here i hope you enjoyed our review of the christmas drinks that you can find in singapore uh, during this festive season and as per usual you know what to do like share and subscribe i got patreon i got paypal support me on those and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure i will see you all around bye bye